I don't think the, the federal budget is going to have a big impact on the the forecast that we published. The Bank of Canada governor says he doesn't see federal budget spending as being a major driver of inflation. Conservative MPs on the House Finance Committee pressed Tiff Macklem on federal spending and the carbon tax, but Macklem says even if the carbon tax were axed, he doesn't believe it would reduce long-term inflation. If you eliminate the carbon tax, you can only do that once. So it'll drop inflation for one year by, by our estimate, about 0.7. Um, a year later, inflation will go back up 0.7 because the, the, the once-off decline in the price level will fall out of the rate of change calculation. Macklem pointing out when the federal government halved tobacco taxes in 1994, inflation dropped to near zero but bounced back to 2% the next year. Meanwhile, Liberal MPs wanted Macklem to discuss costs of eliminating the carbon tax, but the governor was reluctant to rely on any models that forecast that. We haven't had climate change before, so it's very hard to come up with good estimates. So we're really reluctant. And if anybody you know, says they've got a forecast of exactly what the cost is going to be, I'd, frankly, I'd, I think you'd want to be a little bit skeptical. Conservative finance critic Jezraj Singh Halan did get some insight on housing prices. Macklem says the bank is very aware of how its rate decisions affect the real estate market. He says the bank is expecting strong growth in housing activity, which it's already included in its forecasts. All the numbers you have today what kind of timeline are Canadians looking at for housing affordability to, to come back to what it used to be in Canada? You know, we're, you know, we're not really in, in the real estate business, but our own forecast is that housing prices will continue to move up gradually. So uh, I don't think um, you're going to see a big change. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.